Hello, you tinselites, my fellow spooners out there. I know it has been a hot minute since I've made a video. I've had a crazy past few months. We had our first child a few months ago. I started a new job. Going through the whole process of learning everything there is that comes with both of those things together. So, that is the reason for my hiatus. But today, I'm excited to talk about this grill that's made specifically for the Sequoia. Um, I have it laid up here just so you can kind of see it and the shadow won't be over it too much. Um, but this is made from Trail Runner Customs. You know, a lot of people have modified some other TRD uh, Tacoma grills to fit in these, but this one is specifically made for the Toyota Sequoia. They offer some running lights, kind of like the Raptor lights that come in here on the top here, and I'll show you how to wire all that up, get this installed. It's going to be a great project and something that's fairly inexpensive and will really make the front of your Sequoia pop. So stick with me. Okay, I've laid everything out that the, it comes with when you buy it from them. It comes with this Toyota insert. I really like this because it kind of is reminiscent of the old style Toyota off-road uh, emblems. I really like that. Um, it comes with some hardware. There's some black and silver screws in there. Some more hardware to mount it um, into the hood. And then we have some light and harnesses in here, which again, I'll go over all of this stuff with you. Um, another thing I will mention is they ship all over the U.S. here. So uh, if you're U.S. based, definitely take a look at this. It's um, a fairly inexpensive upgrade that makes a loud pop. Let's take a look at the back here. I have it laid out on some cardboard just so it doesn't scratch on the concrete here before I even get it installed. So it looks like there's four spots for screws right here. The Toyota emblem only fits in one way. You don't have to worry about that. If you try and put it in the other way, it just doesn't fit in right. So um, yeah, only one way installation here. So that's nice. Okay, so we are going to prep this for install here. Like I said, the, um, the Toyota emblem slides in only one direction. We're gonna go ahead and put the silver screws in these four holes attaching it to the actual grill right here so i'm gonna go ahead and knock that out okay i got that all screwed in now since it's easily accessible here i'm just going to go ahead and insert my lights you can see that the way that the lights work they're amber they have an amber lens and they are made to clip in to these openings here so i'm going to go ahead and just snap those right in there so here you can see i kind of just centered them over the Toyota. You can obviously put them anywhere you want. Most people just put them across the top like this. They snap right in real easily. Okay, now that that is prepped and about ready to install, we are going to take the old grill off. Um, this is for a 2001 to 2004 Toyota Sequoia. They do have a grill for a 2005 to 2007 Sequoia as well. It's a little bit different. The install process will be a little bit different for that compared to this, but I just wanted to show you guys this here. So we're looking at here, you can see there's two bolts right here that hold the, the latch mechanism on and one up there. We're only gonna remove these two bolts right here, um, leaving that one alone, and we'll just droop that down as well. Then you can see there's these nuts and studs all the way around the grill. These are 10 millimeter um, nuts here. You're gonna remove those. I would highly suggest using a hand tool for this um, before I use the Milwaukee quarter inch, um, you know, little socket gun that they have. And I, this one was on so tight, it ended up stripping the screw from the grill. So you can see here, I have a little zip tie that just keeps it keep some tension on there so um, with my previous experience just use hand tools on this even though it does take a little bit longer you will save yourself the heartache from doing something like that so let's go ahead and get this removed and then I'll touch base with you guys after okay I got the old grill off as you can see here um, on the bottom of the grill there's this metal channel piece it's got five different screws in it we do need to take that off and reuse that for the new grill so I'm going to go ahead and get these removed and install this channel on the new grill. 
So you can see I got the channel in there. Um, be careful when you're removing this from your old grill. Three of the five mounting points on my old grill, the plastic just broke right the moment I started turning these. So if you are trying to save your old grill, just be aware of that. I also pulled these out um, from my old grill. Looks like the holes are put in place here in this new grill. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put these uh, little rubber stoppers in and then we'll get to installing it. There it is, nice and installed. I have not wired it up yet. You can see I got the bulky light mounts here. I did buy new ones, but I have not installed them yet. I've just been crazy busy. Um, I am about to finish putting the latch back on and then get to wiring up. There it is, folks, installed. Uh, I will be doing the wiring video in the next week or two. I'll have that up on my channel. So if you are curious about how you need to wire this up for them to turn on, for the amber lights to turn on, on ignition on and not just remain on. Um, I will have that up here shortly. I'm running out of time today to get it knocked out. So I'm unable to, I might actually move the amber lights to the bottom for me just because of my bumper and the light here. It kind of does block those. So maybe, maybe I'll move them, you know, Maybe like right here, right here, right here, and over there. I'm not sure exactly, but I'll do something. But it looks beastly. I will have the link to the grill where you can purchase these for a, any pre or post facelift Toyota Sequoia down in the description below. Go check them out. Tell them I sent you. Fits great. So anyway, guys, there's that install on this hot, hot, hot Texas summer day. It's been blistering lately. I'm out here drenched in sweat doing this, but I hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you on the next one. Thanks, Utensilites. Spooner out.